is proudly sponsored by Badass Incorporated. And your referee for this contest, once again, Mr. Gary Eblen. And now, introducing first, fighting out of the red corner to my right. He's wearing black with blue camouflage, weighed in an even 144 pounds. Entering the cage 1-0 and oh, as an amateur, he's representing Team Ravenous from Greenfield, Massachusetts. Please welcome Sean O'Doom. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner to my left, also wearing black with blue and representing Sit Mong Pong. Entering the cage for the first time, he also weighs in at 144 pounds. Also from Greenfield, Massachusetts, please welcome Nick Valentino. All right, we have Sean Odu from Team Ravenous versus Nick Valentino from Sit Mun Pong. Um, oh, wow, big shot. Sean Odu uh, with Knocking Ravenous locking up the Armin Guillotine. You know, he shouldn't be leaning back for the Armin Guillotine. You actually should be leaning forward for that. Um, so, it, it, it's not about, it's not like your traditional guillotine where you want to extend and pull. He should be clamping up with his arms and leaning in. That's it, Nick. Yeah. Sean O'Doo coming off hot. Right off the bat. Yeah, coming out of the Team Ravenous, and, and uh, those guys are a huge help in the local MMA scene. Uh, just always, always helping out in every possible way video, stuff online. Nick Valentino getting some advice from his corner to posture up. It seems to me that that was a, it would be enough time to uh, shake that, uh, that little stun out. Working the pass. Now he's in his half. Not really much going on here, just fighting for position. Yes! Yes! Constantly circling that right side. Not quite yes! able to establish a, a, a strong pass. Yes, Nick! Yes! Neither of these guys have anything really established right now. Um, neither of them seem to be too uh, threatening from top or bottom. At least right now. Nick landing a right here and there. He's, he's, he's had his uh, left arm trapped for about a minute, minute and a half so far, so he hasn't been able to do much with that. He's switching over to Gogo Plata. All right, now he's... Wide open. Let's see, see if he can shoot up a triangle here. Seems to be going there, for it. There, he could have it right there. Nick doing a good job uh, posting on that ankle. Oh, wow. Oh, with the arm bar. Sean O'Doo. I don't know if he's going to tap him. <laughs> <laughs> Just fluffing him right <laughs> All right, here we are, round two. Um, fairly out of, ooh, nice inside leg kick. Inside that leg hurt. kick right there. Nick took his leg out. Uh, fairly uneventful first round. Uh, both of them just kind of working the ground. Looks to be uh, kind of much of the same, at least starting out in the second round. Yep, we got to uh, clear that foot out of those shorts. We don't break any toes. And once again, we are back in the same position as the first round. He's going back over, the, you know, uh, seems to be his go-to move. He's locking him down now. Nick, go put him in the cage. Can't open him in the cage. 
Now Nick is back in Sean's guard. Sean's got the right arm trap this time. Nick looking to posture up. Sean looks to sweep, doesn't get it. Nick fighting back for half guard. You know, fairly active off bottom, um, which is good. Uh, you know, top not really doing too much. Really just fending off uh, submissions and, and looking to subtly pass. But it looks like uh, this Nick Valentino is out of what it seems to be a traditional Thai school um, by the traditional uh, gear that they came out with. So we don't really know how much uh, groundwork he has, but this is MMA, so hopefully he trained uh, extensively on the ground as well. Nice stuff on top now. Looking to posture back up is Nick. Well, Sean, Sean doing a good job of uh, keeping, keeping Nick down and not allowing him to posture to uh, negate any of the striking. And if he's not keeping it, the posture down, he's attacking with some form of a submission. All right, back, so back on our feet. Let's see what happens now. Back to feeling each other out a little bit. Definitely different styles. We have uh, Nick, what seems to be more of a traditional tie boxer, and, and then uh, Sean, who kind of uh, roll, shoulders rolled forward, kind of brawler kind of guy. Nick with the clinch. Oh. Sean catches the leg, but he's not able to finish the single off that. Last round, you know, I don't really know who to give it to. Um, you know, top, uh, Nick has more control on top, but bottom, you know, Sean looks a bit more aggressive with uh, looking to finish. Definitely giving it to Sean right now, coming out to, I'd say it's one and one with the rounds. Yeah. I, you know, I think if, if, if I were Nick, I'd try to keep this fight standing for the rest of, of this round. You know, he's been doing a little better job standing. Um, did a really good job at the end of the last round in the clinch yeah. with the knees. I think if he, if he, he could get... might be a little gun shy just because he got hit with that, that uh, initial punch, but I would agree with you 100%, stay on his feet. He, he's clearly the more technical guy. And a good inside, two good inside leg kicks. Nick. Ooh, oh, right up the middle. Push kick, right, at, yeah, right up the middle. He's got he's to be careful dropping his head there on that inside leg kick. Yeah, fade, yeah fading off to that side. He's opening up. He seems to be a little more comfortable on his feet now. This round, this round is, uh, has turned it around. <laughs> Both guys looking to turn up the excitement here. He's eating that inside leg up. Yeah, Sean's got to do a, a little better job moving his feet or else he's going to he's gonna keep getting timed by Nick's inside leg kick there. Very predictable. Backs out, steps heavy. Yeah, you see him on his heels. Yeah. Nice body shot by Sean. He might, but he's going to blow that knee out. That's going to be trouble to walk tomorrow. Yeah. He keeps going after it again and again and again. But like we said, you know, he hasn't switched up his rhythm, so he's able to time him every time. That's what I was waiting for, to go upstairs, keep throwing inside low, and then go up high. Which shows, which, which uh, you know, it shows that, that Nick's a little bit of, you know, he's got the experience there. He's definitely Nick's round here. He's pretty much picking Sean apart. And Sean keeps coming forward, though. Ooh, nice body shot. Nice 
Short time here. Short third. time, yep. Let's see what, uh, what they got for us in the last few seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, before I read the official scorecards, how about a nice round of applause once again for Sean Odu and Nick Valentino. After three hard-fought rounds, here are your score totals. Judge Michael Mina sees about 29 to 28. He has it for Valentino. Judge at ringside, Jason Randolph sees about 29 to 28. He sees it for Odu. While Judge at ringside sees this bout 28 to 28, this bout is a draw. Let's hear it for both Sean O'Doo and Nick Valentino.